welcome to uh, today's vlog. It's Monday yet again. Uh, we have had quite a busy week last week. Yep. Uh, and quite a busy week it will be this week because we need to do some uh, new, record a new lecture even this week. Mm. Um, I'm will change from that one to that one to that one. So here we are. Uh, what we have done uh, last week is that we did a new recording of the web application architecture. Uh, so now we have one in Swedish and one in English and you can look at whichever. Yeah, I mean, That's they are totally equivalent to each other. The only thing is that in the Swedish version that is a little bit longer. This demo uh, is incorporated into the Swedish version. In the English version we're just focusing on the theory and then we have a recorded demo mm. in English. So you can combine this any way you like. Um, because it's, I, I mean, the deadline for the first assignment is soon, I think, if I'm correct. It's on Wednesday. Yes. Wednesday. Uh, mm. So after that one, you should really start working with uh, uh, Express mm. because that is uh, uh, the theme for the second assignment to create this classic crude application, create, update, update delete. And, and the web uh, application architecture is the first piece of the puzzle to, to get started mm. with that uh, exercise or, or, or that assignment. Uh, we what you should do with the exercise before. Yeah, yeah uh, of course. We have exercises. I'm not sure which ones are suitable. I think it's a pure, suitable. Or pure approval or something like that. Follow, um, follow the route. Follow the route is a very important one. Yes, and then, and, pure, and then approval. pure approval. Yeah. yeah. And when those two are done, you can start with a uh, assignment. Um, we have some parts that we need to address before we will be able to do everything in the assignment. Yeah. Uh, we will, this week on Wednesday, we will release this one, Persistent Data. It's recorded in Swedish right now, but we will uh, make a new English version since the English version is since 2016 yeah. and things have changed yeah. since then. So uh, look out for the new version instead. Um, there are, and we are looking at this right now, I think, um, because the environment for which uh, the database in the cloud is handled mm -hmm. is, has been changed since yep. last year, and I think it's actually been changed since... Since that, that lecture, yes. Yeah, since the Swedish lecture. So in this one, it's not much that differs, however, there are some some things concerning the cloud service. It's called like Mongo Atlas or something. Yeah, MongoDB Atlas. MongoDB Atlas nowadays. Mm. When we recorded this one, it was called Mongo Lab, I think. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, so we will uh, uh, update the information regarding the, this lecture and it will all be live on Wednesday. Mm. Uh, it's already updated, the presentation. Oh. Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah, in the presentation it's it's yeah. it's updated. Uh, is this one updated as well? The database well, no. connection dot I haven't, I haven't looked at that one. No, because it's a SEMLab, so yeah. we will update that as well. But but on Wednesday when we this is no longer grayed out, everything should be up to date. Um, in the second assignment where you're doing this crude application, uh, you should also uh, be able to. If it, because it's a crude application, users will be able to delete and update records in the database. Mm -hmm. Then we need some kind of authentication and authorization. Yep. Um, and so we need to look at that as well, and we will do that next week mm -hmm. on this lecture. Uh, hmm. Oh, so. Basically, what are you supposed to do right now? Well, finish off the first assi assi uh, examination assignment and please remember to do a release. It's really clearly stated that you need to do a release. I think it says, where does it say that? Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. 
in this red text. So please go to GitHub when you're finished, go to GitHub and make a release. Um, and that is because in this this uh, uh, assignment, just as in the previous course, the first assignment in that course, you have no oral hearing, you will not book time for an oral hearing or something like that. We will assess those assignments uh, continuously, uh, starting probably next week, mm. I think. Uh, so next week we will start look at those assignments, and if you haven't made a release, we will not look at your assignment because. Well, and it is important that you create a release using the GitHub yeah. user interface and not by the command prompt. Yeah, but those of you who who, who did that in the last co course now we know why as well. Uh, so 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 please make a release on GitHub. Um, if your friend is getting a comment on Monday for his or her uh, assignment, don't send an email immediately to us asking why you haven't, uh, why your assignment hasn't been assessed, because we are doing this uh, in different examinators are looking at this at t different time frames. So, so just beware that, that someone will get their results on Monday and someone on Friday. However, the dates for this in LADOC will all be the same and that is the deadline for the assignment if you have handed it in before deadline. Uh, if you're not able to make it before deadline, you can always make a release after deadline. However, we will not be able to look at this uh, right away. We will postpone that for mm. several weeks maybe. After you're done, after you've made a release, start working on the second assignment, the exercises, and look at the lectures in, mm. uh, concerning that, that assignment. Uh, nothing to report really from the tutoring sessions, I think. Rafael has. No, I don't think so. Hasn't said um, anything. Well, what, what about the activity control? Yeah, the acti we have made activity control. So those of you who were not active in the course has been uh, re de registered. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you look in LADOC and you are not registered any longer on the course, that is because you haven't done the, the, the uh, renewed, uh, what's it called in English? We said it before. Uh, you, you haven't done what we, you were supposed to do regarding uh, the activity control. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was that you had to create or push something to GitHub in any of your repositories. So really low low fruit there, mm. but uh, some of you didn't make it in time and that's why you were deregistered. So look in LADOC, if you're deregistered from the course, contact Mats okay. on Slack uh, and say that, oh, sorry, I want to be on the course and we will, of course, fix that for you. You can skip the sorry. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Just being polite. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So. Is that it? That's it, I think. Yeah. Uh, no general questions, I think. Well, someone actually asked, believe maybe a little bit late now, but on the first assignment, uh, someone asked if they were allowed to use a headless browser. A headless browser is kind of like a browser where you can click user interfaces and stuff. Uh, that was not the purpose. The purpose of this assignment is to, to, to learn like to communicate using HTTP and like look at the network traffic and things like that. So we have said that no headless browsers allowed. Mm. But you're free to use other like libraries like Sherio and things like that. Request libraries, things like that is, is totally fine mm -hmm. on, on that assignment. I think that's it. I know it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, see you on Wednesday when we release the next lecture. Yeah. Bye. Bye.